Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an interesting exponential equation. We have 4 to the power x equals negative 2, and we're going to be looking for x values. Before we get started with the solution, I just wanted to show you a graph of this situation. Let's go ahead and take a look, and then we'll get back to the solution. So I graphed two functions for you, y equals 4 to the power x, and y equals negative 2. And I did write no reals. What is that supposed to mean? They don't intersect. So there are no real solutions. Because 4 to the power x is always positive. Great. And it is going to stay above the x-axis. Even though it looks like it's overlapping. They are not intersecting. And the horizontal line is not going to intersect our graph. In other words, there are no real solutions to this equation. Now, come on, think about it. Can a power of 4 be a negative number? No way. But I think in one of the comments, I could probably find it. Uh, I think one of my viewers said something like, I don't think there's any power that will make a positive number or turn a positive number into a negative number. It actually exists. So that's what we're going to be looking for. So we said there are no real solutions, but there are complex solutions. And some equations have... Uh, no solutions, no non real or, you know, neither real nor uh, complex. But this equation has complex solutions. And if you think about the obvious case, you'll probably find one. But let's not get into that. Let's go ahead and solve this problem. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to turn negative 2 into a complex number. What is that supposed to mean? If you have any number, it can be written as r times e to the power i times alpha, where alpha is the angle that the number makes with the x-axis, and r is called the radius or the modulus. So you can basically graph negative 2 on the number line or coordinate plane. It is going to be 2 units to the left, and therefore its radius is going to be a 2. And the angle it makes with the positive x-axis is going to be 180 degrees or pi radians. We want to keep it in terms of pi, so let's go with pi radians. Make sense? That's all you need. Alpha and r. E is Euler's number, i is i, that's it. So negative 2 can be written as, oh by the way, what is the, how do you find the length or modulus of negative 2? You take the absolute value and the absolute value of negative 2 is absolutely positive 2, right? So r has to be non-negative. So we can write it as 2 times e to the power i pi. But the story doesn't end here because pi is one of the angles for which this is true. If you make one more rotation like this, let's say you, you went to pi and then you went another 2 pi on top of that, which made it 3 pi. That also works. 5 pi, 7 pi, you get the idea? Odd multiples of pi. So we're going to add multiples of pi to this, so I'm going to write it as 2n pi, and now we're just going to write it like this. I will be multiplied by that, but I'm going to simplify it a little bit and kind of write it this way. 2 times e to the power 2n plus 1 times pi, and then multiply by i. Okay, that is our number, negative 2. And we're going to set it equal to 4 to the power x. Let's go ahead and do it. And then we're going to be doing a little bit of logging on both sides, so on and so forth. So 4 to the power x equals 4 to the power x equals 2 times e to the power 2n plus 1 pi i. Or i pi. Whatever. You could probably write the i first. And it's probably going to look a little better. i times 2n plus 1 pi. Okay, cool. Now let's go ahead and ln both sides ln 4 to the power x equals ln 2 times e to the power i times 2n plus 1 pi. And we're going to use properties of logarithms here. So if you have a product, the, pro the log of a product is going to be the sum of logs. And this can be brought down. So it's going to be x times ln 4. Nice. And then this can be written as a sum ln 2 plus ln e to the power i times 2n plus 1 pi which are odd multiples of pi. Make sense? Cool, cool. Now let's go ahead and move the other exponent to the front. So this guy over here, 
is gonna go here. Then we're gonna end up with something like this. X times ln four equals ln two plus i times two n plus one pi. ln e is one, so I don't have to worry about it, and it's all good. Now remember, we're looking for x, right? So let's go ahead and solve for x. That's the only variable here. Well, n does not, does not count as a variable because, I don't know, it's just a dummy integer. So we're going to replace n with anything you want. Okay, divide by ln4, and that should give us the answer. Now, what is that supposed to mean? Well, if n is equal to 0, you're going to get a solution, ln2 plus i times pi. And then if you plug it in, you can kind of... Um, check that this is going to work. How do you check that? You can go ahead and plug in this for x. Uh, that's not going to be very easy to do, but here's what we can do to make things a little easier. Let's go ahead and plug it in. Let's substitute this for x, and hopefully we're going to get negative 2 from here. So now we can do the following. First, uh, take care of 4 to the power 1 over ln 4, because that is a special number. What is it? If you knew from previous videos, this is equal to e. Why is it equal to e? Let me tell you. This is 4 to the power log e with base 4. And when these bases are equal by a logarithm rule, this is e. You can also prove that by setting this equal to some variable like y and then l on both sides and you'll get the idea. Make sense? So this is e. Nice. So we can kind of write it as 4 to the power 1 over ln 4 to the power ln 2 plus i times 2n plus 1. Now, since this is going to be e, right, e, then we get e to the power from here, e to the power ln 2 plus i times 2n plus 1 pi, right? Just plug it in. So it's important in exponentiation, remember, if you went for this, things would be much more complicated. But if you go for this, things are a lot easier. So it's kind of important to recognize things like this and I use this idea in many of the videos you can go ahead and check them out but when you have something like you know it could be any base by the way a to the power of 1 over log a you probably know what this equals right okay let me not say it so here we have the sum of the exponents which indicates from a to the power x plus y can be written as a to the x a to the y it's a product so I can write it as e to the power ln 2 times e to the power i to n plus 1 pi and then from here, this becomes ln 2 times ln e, which is just by definition, it's 2, right? e to the power ln x is x. Great. Is that right? Well, ln both sides, you'll see. So that becomes a 2 times e to the power i to n plus 1 pi. Now, what is that supposed to mean? It means if you have n equals 0, you're going to get 2 times e to the power i pi. But e to the power i pi is negative 1, as you know, because it is, right? So this is going to become negative 2. And obviously, there are infinitely many values for which this equation is true. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.